What's up, guys? Panic Knife here with theawfulgamer.com, and today I'm talking about the Thrasher boss fight in Scum and Villainy story mode in Star Wars: The Old Republic. So, this is boss number three in the brand new operation. There are seven bosses. Uh, it does take quite a while to finish the operation, so you'll uh, you'll come across this one probably about mm, maybe 45 minutes into the operation, and it uh it's kind of an easy fight. It's the one where you'll get your your weekly out of it, so. You'll uh, you'll probably see this one more than any other fight, <laughs> but anyway, uh, the the boss is more or less a straight tank and spank. You're gonna want to tank the boss up against the wall, um, facing the wall just to avoid any kind of cleave mechanics. Um, you're gonna be you know beating the shit out of him for a while, and all of a sudden he'll say, "You like this trick? Been working on it for a while." That was a terrible accent. Just don't just ignore the fact that I tried to do an accent there, please. Uh, <laughs> He, he, he'll say that, and then hit, uh, basically it'll spawn a bunch of snipers. You have to kill them as soon as possible because they will build a turret and then just like rain fire down on your, your raid. So make sure you take them down quickly. Obviously, if you have ranged DPS, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you have melee DPS, um, you should be able to do the, the pull for the uh, for, for assassins or something like that. But uh, if you're you know a jug or if you're a... Uh, uh, you know, a, mur a marauder or something like that. Just force charge up there, take them down there. They don't have very much HP, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But uh, that's that's that one. Um, the second mechanic is that it'll say that you've been targeted by a mercenary firebug. Basically, just move away from the raid. Uh, he'll run out at you. Go, he'll kneel down, and that'll be your cue to move away because apparently he can't uh, stand back up once he's kneeled down. Um, he'll drop a flame turret on that area where he kneeled down, so just move out of the way. It shouldn't be a big deal. Um, does have a knockback, and he does have a cleave, so just make sure the tank otherwise is just sitting there, taking him away from the raid. Um, you know, He'll do some things like he'll stomp, he'll uh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it, you just pretty much have to tank and smack him at that point. Uh, he does, he has a good amount of HP, but he doesn't take nearly as long to take down as some of the other fights in this uh, this operation, and uh, it's kind of fun, you know. It's just a it's a one of those fights where you you don't have to worry too much about dying. That the healers don't have too much trouble with it as long as you're not standing and shit. But uh, pretty much that's about it on story mode anyway. Um, you you don't you shouldn't have that many problems with this fight. So Seriously? if you're having problems with this fight, you're probably low on DPS or your healers aren't paying attention. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, l short little video here. Um, this is definitely going to be a fun series to go through, so I would highly recommend checking out the rest of my Star Wars The Old Republic videos here with right. The Awful Gamer. Anyway, with TheAwfulGamer.com, this is Panic Knife. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good night.